Hi everyone, uh, tutorial time. I, I, I don't do a whole lot of tutorials, uh, but it's something that I want to get into a little bit more. Uh, there's just so many great tutorials out there uh, by a lot of great guitar players. Carl Brown on uh, Guitar Lessons 365 is fantastic for practically everything. Uh, Chris Zupa from Australia is fantastic for your metal solos and whatnot. And uh, uh, that Schwartz fella is all right. Uh, anyway, there's a lot of great uh, Justin uh, from Justin Guitars is fantastic. But uh, I, I do like to do uh, tutorials for solos that do not have tutorials or uh, do not have maybe very good tutorials so, uh, or, or incomplete tutorials. Uh, I've had a request for this one from Darren. This one's for you, Darren. And uh, for anyone else who wants to learn this great classic Ted Nugent solo, uh, Ted Nugent had an amazing right hand, probably still does. He's still alive, probably out there shooting something right now. But uh, great right hand technique uh, work in this. Lots of great blues licks and some nice bends, a nice vibrato. It's a fantastic solo. And uh, we're in standard tuning with this one. We're working in A minor. We're mostly working in the Dorian mode of A minor. I'm not going to get into modes and theory and whatnot, but uh, it's very similar to the A natural minor scale, which we also dig into a little bit in this solo. Uh, I'm going to show you both. I'll show you the A natural minor scale and uh, slight variation to change it to the Dorian scale. We take one note and change it and that's it. So A natural minor working from top to bottom is 5, 7, 8, 5, 7, 8, 5, 7, 9, 5, 7, 5, 6, 8, 5, 7, 8. Natural minor. Uh, a Dorian, we take this F, that F right there, and we sharpen it to F sharp. Whoops. And that's a Dorian. So that is 578, 579, 579, 57, 578, 578. And that is the scale that we use for most of this solo, concentrating especially down here on the, uh, the, the B, or the G, the B, and the E string. There's a lot of work right in that little wheelhouse right there. Right in there. So uh, let's get started. Uh, like I said, we're in standard tuning, working in A minor in the Dorian mode, and uh, let's dig into this bad boy, this uh, great solo from Ted, Motor City Madman. All right, before we get into the main solo proper, there's a little preamble that he does, uh, and I'm not really sure if it's part of the solo or not. Uh, and it's kind of hard to hear what he's doing here because the bass is actually louder than his guitar is. But uh, I think I figured out how, what he's doing, so I'm going to show you how to play it. It goes something like this. And then into the main solo. Uh, so it's four on the A down to two on the D twice, and I think we're sliding into that four. And then we're hammering on two to four twice on the D. With a little vibrato. And then uh, we're going uh, four uh, on the A to two on the uh, D to four on the D back to two on the D. We're going to grab four on the G and give it a full step bend. Slowly. And then uh, we're going back to four on the A and doing that again twice. And then hammering on two to four on the D and then releasing back to two on the D. And then we're going to grab four of the A 
and then grabbing two of the A and giving it a full step bend. So from the top. You got that slowly. second part of this little thing. So that's four on the A down to two on the D twice again. And then hammering on uh, two to four on the D and then back to two of the D. And then we're going to pull off, uh, no, we're not going to pull off, we're going to go uh, four on the A to open A. And then finish up with, we're going to do that twice. And then two hits on the open string uh, to finish up. So, from the top. And then we're going to grab four on the G string and, and give it a full step bend five times. And that leads into the main body of the solo. So that whole opening little bit there. And then into the main body of the solo. Uh, so I'll run through the, the first little part of this solo. for like 20 seconds. So we're at the 8th fret of the uh, B string and we're giving it a full step bend. And then while it's bent, we're going to hit it twice. And then we're going to release the note and bend it again. And this is a great little technique that Ted uses a lot in this solo, this bending, uh, killing the note, releasing and bending again and a uh, little double, triple uh, pick hits in there. Uh, really great uh, right hand technique. So bend, while it's bent, pick it twice, release it and bend it again. And then add vibrato. And then bend, hit it again. And then release. And then you're going to grab five on the uh, G string uh, barred with your index finger and five on the B. And you're going to hit the uh, fifth fret of the G twice. And then you're going to go five, eight, five. No, you're not going to go five, eight, five. You're going to go five, eight on the B to five on the G. So from the top. One more time. And then uh, on that note there, on the fifth fret of the G string, you're, you're going to have your index finger on it, and now you're going to switch to your middle finger, and you're going to slide from five to nine. You're going to slide from five to nine, and then you're going to grab the uh, eighth fret of the uh, B string and hit it three times. So, and, uh, and then we're going to slide, uh, we're going to slide from uh, 9 to 11 uh, on the G string. So we're going to uh, go from 9 to 11, down to 10 on the B, down to 12 on the high E back to 10 on the B. Now this whole little passage, this whole little phrase is really tricky to get even at speed to, to find the melody. But once you get it, you got it. But uh, so from the beginning. So 
So that's sliding 9 to 11, down to uh, 10 on the B, down to 12 on the high E, back to 10 on the B. And then you're going to hit that note one more time. And then you're going to grab the uh, and then you're going to grab the 11th on the G and slide up to 14 of the G. And then you're going to grab uh, the 13th of the B and hit it three times. And then you're going to grab 15 of the high E and then back to uh, 13 of the B. So. So from the top. And then you're going to grab 15 again of the high E. And then you're going to grab 15 of the uh, B and give it a full step bend. And then you're going to get your pinky on the 15th fret of the uh, high E. And then uh, alternate between uh, bends and hitting that 15th fret. And I think you do that three times. And then the last one, you slow it down. And then you uh, release that note, release that bent note, and then release it to a 13 of the B. And then grab 15 and give it a full step bend. And that's the note that sustains for about 20 seconds. So uh, that last little phrase. One more time. You got that? One last time. ring. So uh, from the top. And then when that finishes uh, its sustain, if you can maintain your sustain that long, you're going to bar the uh, 17th fret uh, of the B and the high E and just slide it out. Uh, and then we're going to, and then we're into this part. And you do that, I think, four times. Or maybe only twice, I'm not sure, but you listen to the recording, but I'll show you how to play it. I'm not going to, I'm not sure how many times he does it, but so you're, you got your pinky and your, uh, your ring finger and you're at the, uh, third, uh, you're at the 15th fret of the uh, B and the high E. And you're leaving, uh, you're bending the uh, B string basically and leaving the, fi uh, the E string uh, unbent. that twice and you slide it out and then you move up to the uh, with your index finger on the 17th fret of the high E and your uh, your ring finger I suppose on the uh, 20th fret and you slide out of that so you're basically just bending the B string and, uh, and then we're into this So that's basically pulling off 13 to 12 of the high E. 
and then doing the exact same thing on the B string and then back uh, to the E string for one more time. And so then you're back into this position again with your ring finger and your pinky. Uh, you're on the 15th fret of the uh, high E and the 15th fret of the B. And you're going from E to B and bending the B. Four times and the last time a good slow bend. And it, it's, it's kind of static this part. It's not like... It's not like that. It's quite static. And you're kind of killing the note. And then the last one, you're uh, letting it ring with vibrato. And then you're doing it again three times. And then the, the second time you do it, it's a little more free. It's not as static. So, from the top. Uh, one more time. And then we're, uh, we're doing this, you're holding that same position. And with the, uh, the 15th fret of the B fully bent, uh, a full, uh, full step, you're hitting a 15 on the high E, and then you're hitting the bent note at the uh, 15th of the B, and releasing it, and then releasing to 13 of the B. And then this is a tricky little bit. You're, you're uh, hammering on very quickly from 13 to 15 on the B and getting that note right back up again. And then you're doing the same pattern again with, uh, you know, having the note bent. So you're basically doing this twice. And then the second time, you're releasing the 12 of the B. But the thing is, uh, the first time you do it, now you got to get that note back up again for the pre-bend. You follow that? That, that part is tricky. Because there's two pre-bends, but the second one you got to hammer on and get that note back up there really quick. So uh, from the top of that little passage. And then we're into this. And uh, that's hammering on from 12 to 13 to 15 of the B. And then you're just writing down the, uh, the A natural minor scale. Uh, 15 to 13 to 12 on the high E and then 15, 13, 12 of the B. And then up to, uh, what is that, 14 of the G for a double hit. And then uh, pulling off uh, 13 to 12 of the B and then back up to 14 of the G. So, uh, so from the top. And 
then uh, another little tricky bit. So, uh... So we're going to go 12 to uh, 14 on the uh, G string. And then bending that note at the 14th fret. And then another double hit, similar to what we were doing here. And once you get that note bent up at the 14th fret, a full step, you're going to pick it twice. And then you're going to release it and bend it again. Same thing we did at the beginning. And then release and bend without picking. And then add vibrato. And then bend again at the 14th fret of the G. And then grab uh, 12 of the B and 12 of the high E. And then do the same thing again. So. With lots of vibrato on that. So from the top of that little passage. to uh, that little classic blues lick. Uh, you're barring the uh, 12 of the uh, B and the high E and then bending uh, 14 of the G. So uh, and you do that twice. And then we start riding that uh, thing uh, with a little more uh, vigor. I don't know how many times he does it here, but uh, he, he starts increasing intensity of it as uh, he goes along. So, so uh, we're into this. slide out at the last one. So uh, from the whole, the top of that little passage, whoops, edit there I uh, kind of lost the plot for a second uh, it's hard to slow these down and keep the melody going in your head but we were coming out of this and you slide out of that business and, uh, and then it goes into this so uh, we're sliding into 12 with our index finger and then quickly jumping up to 13 for four quick hits And then grab 15 uh, on the B with a full step bend. And then get your pinky down on the 15th fret of the high E and then hit that note. And then uh, bend and hit that note again. And then the last time just a full step bend at the 15th with vibrato. Classic blues lick. Now with that note still bent at the top, grab the 15th fret of the high E and hit it again. And then grab the 15th fret of the B string with the note still bent and release it. And then release to 13.
and then grab 15 of the high E and give it a full step bend. Now when you bend that note right there, you're going to want to grab the B string with the same finger. And that's tricky to do. Uh, you want to grab both strings and have both strings bent up at the 15th fret. And then hit the B string, release the note, and then bend the 15th fret of the high E again, and, uh, and then basically play that off four times. And that, that's tricky to grab that and get both strings with the same finger, so... So you do that four times, and that leads into this. So we're going uh, 13 to 15 back to 13 of the B string, and then 13, 15 uh, of the B back to 12. And then 12, 13, back to 10. And then we're gonna hammer on 10 to 12 to 13 uh, on the B string. And then we're going to go 12, 10, 8, 7. So from the top of that little phrase. And then we're going to grab 5 on the B string and hit it twice. And then we're going to slide from 7 into 8 of the B. And then we're going to go to 7 and hit that twice. So uh, from the top of that little phrase, slowly. One more time. And then hammer on 7 to 8 for a little triple hit. And then this part is a little bit uh, dynamic. It kind of uh, quiets down a little bit, and he just kind of uh, is pulling, hammering on pulling off between 7 and 8. And then sliding from 7 back to 5 for a double hit. He's a little bit quieter here. So that whole little phrase again. on the high E, and then 7 of the high E, and then slide into 8 for a triple hit, and then we're going to do the quiet little pull-offs again between 7 and 8 on the high E, and then we're going to go uh, slide into 10 and then into 12. slide back to five. So, that whole little uh, lick again. One more time. slide back and forth with the same finger. And 
and then finish the whole thing up with this. Uh, seven to eight. Or sorry, five to eight on the high E. And then slide up to a 17. And then slide into it twice. And then slide out of it. I'm kind of missing it there. Uh, so that whole last little phrase, and that'll be the end of part uh, one of this uh, tutorial, and then we'll get into the second half of the solo. So. And that is the first half of that solo. Uh, that'll get you started, Darren. And uh, I'll be back probably tomorrow or the next day and we'll do part two of this guy. And uh, so anyway, I hope that helped you out. And uh, don't forget to subscribe, hit the little bell. Uh, if you like what I'm doing, uh, you want to throw some money in my Patreon, I'll link that down below as well. Uh, you don't have to, but uh, it's just there to help me buy new gear. So uh, anyway, take care of yourselves and we'll see you in part two shortly.